August 1947. Madras Presidency, Tamil Nadu. A group of people were preparing for the trip of their lifetime. They had been called to carry out an important mission to sanctify and legitimize the transfer of power from one ruler to another. Where were these people going? Delhi. India was getting ready for its freedom to be rid of the British rulers. After decades of people fighting for self-rule, thousands arrested, killed in action, chasing one goal, Azadi, freedom. The last Viceroy, Lord Mountbatten, had a task to complete, to hand over power to the Indians. He had a simple query. How should this moment of handover be conducted? A handshake would hardly do. What is the symbolism that should be adopted for the moment? He posed this question to Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. A good question. Something that needed thought. A puzzled Nehru turned to the veteran freedom fighter, Shri C. Raja Gopalachari. Rajaji, as he was popularly known, was from Tamil Nadu. Nehru respected Rajaji's erudition and knowledge of Indic customs and civilization. Well read as he was, he found the answer in India's past. In the Chola kingdom of Tamil Nadu, one of India's oldest and longest continuous reigns. The transfer of power from one Chola king to another was marked by the passing of the century.